All right, guys, today's going to be a dozer day. We're going to go hit some insane Midwest drifts. Some of them are about as tall as a RV blade here, and they need to get taken care of. We got hit with like 60 mile an hour winds after like 8 to 10 inches of snow, very powdery, and it made some insane drifts on the highway. So we got tasked from the county to go out and clear those because their, their snow units just can't get to them, and I'm pretty close. So good thing I got my dozer. I picked up this V plow early last spring, and I used this dozer for like a lot of land clearing and stuff. So here we go. Let's get her started. It's a warmed shop. So I'll, I'll let it warm up for a little bit, but it, it's 70 degrees in here. It looks like we got a little bit of snow last night. Not much, maybe two to three inches, which is, which is going to make the drifts even, even bigger, even worse, but it's not windy right now. That's why I'm trying to get out there, trying to, trying to knock them down. The weather actually looks pretty good for the next week, but the wind is pretty hard to predict. And I think, I think it's going to always stay windy. There we go. It is kind of hard to see in front of us with this huge plow, especially when I raise it up but i'm just about getting to the road i put on a bunch of extra lights probably should have put some on the sides but yeah these roads haven't been cleared yet these aren't what i'm tasked with i think i got about i got about six miles of roadway that i need to get out there and clear and the dozer goes the dozer goes nine miles an hour which is actually pretty quick for a dozer when i drop the blade we, we scoot around around five mile an hour so if i if i was plowing straight strip it would take me about an hour but i'm not it's in pretty like scattered locations that we'll have to kind of cruise around to but the first one is right out here this is a this is a gravel road that gets a lot of wind let's drop the blade let's get going what am i at? i'm six mile an hour seven nope all right here we go slowing down this is a big push some of the stuff i'm not going to be able to like bust through all the way i might kind of lift my plow so i can at least just keep going there we go we're moving some snow so it is it is midnight not a lot of people on the roads i came through here last night i'm just doing it one more time some of the drifts especially when we get up here further you can see it's starting to drift over more not gonna lie though this is pretty sick this is fun this is kind of like my dream i've seen this is how the old in the olden days they used to clear them just with dozers or or like old military tanks like back in the 40s and the 50s from the wars and out out in like the midwest or like kind of western like wyoming i was watching videos and and they had a tank very similar to this with a little smaller plow and they were trying to bust through bust through the uh the drifts but we're cooking it's it's going pretty good i got a big pile all right here we go we're getting some incline i have to raise my my plow because it, it does dig into the gravel a little bit if i don't race it especially when i go up a hill okay we're pushing i i can't see anything okay i can see a little bit now for a second there i couldn't there we go we we're moving a lot of snow and we're kicking it off pretty good i'm holding six mile an hour better than we did the other day but there we go all right i think we're out of the drift zone there's oh there's some traffic on the main highway we aren't going there but this kind of bank on the left helps us so it's pretty smooth it's not it's not too deep it's probably like a foot deep and then going downhill makes makes a pretty big difference so it helps a little bit the snow kind of just pushes off to the sides goes downhill a little bit it is pretty powdery but some stuff after the drifts get to it it's pretty pretty salt we have got stopped yet usually the big drifts when they get bigger than the plow i gotta make a few runs at them i think my worst one i had to make 20 runs the bus through it and get all the speed i can then just slam into it all right so there we go that's kind of what behind us looks when we come clear it now trucks can get through and stuff it's pretty it's pretty hard packed underneath and so i like to do that on the gravel roads i can't scrape it with the dozer but now at least the 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 county you know slow plows can come in and get down to the gravel but the dozer can't it's uh if i got down to the gravel i would be i would be plowing more than snow let's just say all right we got some pretty bad drifts here this is highway road 35 this is a mile stretch so we just went down about half a mile not not too bad but that took us that took us a little bit not gonna lie so i'm just clearing this out it's spotty they said it's not too bad road conditions i'll be able to lift my plow we're on gravel now so i should be able to get pretty close to the pavement and then yep there we go we can lift back up so you can see it's pretty drifty. It's not it's not that bad, but I think up ahead we're gonna have some pretty big stuff. Might as well just drop it here. And then the clouds kind of cleared. It, it it was about to snow and flurry. It actually never did, but now that the clouds cleared, the moon kind of comes out, and I can see a heck of a lot more when the moon comes out because it reflects off the snow and it's actually pretty nice. All right, here's some big drifts. These these are about two feet and they're hard packed. That's the big thing. They're hard packed in the plows. It's just tough on them. So there we go. We're moving snow. Look at that. Yeah. Imagine a county plow coming in. Those are big drifts. Like it piles up my whole entire blade. Here we go. Look at that. I mean, my blade, the tip of it is, it is about 12 feet. So, I mean, we're, we're busting through pretty, pretty big stuff. There we go. In the cement, it looks a lot better. That drift left some behind. All right, we can lift. Oh, it's starting to flurry again. Drop it down. Here's a big one. We got some speed. Oh, we're pushing. 
we're pushing big snow what it's that's a lot anything up here on the left that's county road 20 29 if i'm right they're kind of hard to remember but those guys are snowed in that is my top priority so i pretty much just beelined it right here as fast as i could while hitting roads that i needed to hit as well and those guys are snowed in you can actually see their lights still on so we or i didn't call them but the county sheriff called them and said that we're gonna have a dozer coming in to to clear them out so they didn't have the equipment they're older and and they needed help getting out so that's why i got recruited i haven't had snow somebody snowed in in a few years but this year we've gotten a lot more snow and it's been windy all right i'm gonna push up until i get to the house and then i'll see you guys once we get there all right here we go we we're going we're going it's pretty steep it's not it's not the best road condition it is, it is a gravel road and i am uh we're knocking down to about four mile an hour so we're crawling pretty slow here but we're, we'll get to them we'll get to them it's i'm packing it down pretty good so they'll be able to drive through here just busting in the drift nothing slowed us down yet these are about two two feet to, i think up here they were talking about eight foot ten foot drifts that the county plows could never get through so there we go we're moving a lot of snow and we're making it up here it's a it's about a half mile stretch up to the farm so we're about halfway done with the with the roads we need to get done this was this was top priority literally getting people who were snowed in out of here go guys we made it to the door it's not too bad up here but that crest of the hill back there it was pretty drift in there we go open the gate up look at that look at how much snow that is it's, it's almost to the cab i would say it's even with the uh the top of the engine there all right let's get going and get pushing it's already getting pretty sunny it's it's getting to be about like four or five in the morning we've been going for a while now there we go we're clearing this stuff looks pretty good i i think they were able they, they were able to get some of their stuff cleared but not not the county road and it's not their responsibility too because they pay uh they pay taxes and they're supposed to have county come and come and clear it out so i won't be able to clean it up too good with this v plow but i'll try and do my best all right and we're gonna go through it one more time i'm getting pretty close to the to the concrete so we should be good it, it's pretty compacted once we go over it with the dozer you, you should be able to get uh maybe not a honda civic or like a prius out of here but you know they got 1500s they're farmers they know what's up so we should be good to there we got about a mile and a half left on county road 17 so we're gonna head east and then we'll take a right and head south and we'll be able to hit that yeah we we aren't really plowing too much all right <laughs> i was wrong we actually are let me get some speed going downhill we kind of got caught in some pavement come on push 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 oh it almost got us oh no it did we gotta take another run all right back it up back it up back it up all right go 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 slam it push push come on come on there we go we're making it through chugging one chain at a time all right where's the plow but i like to just kind of play with the plow and usually we can kind of power through it it's not it's not too bad i've seen i've seen way worse so there we go we're moving all right i pulled the plow up i think just driving over it will compact it enough the sun is coming out tomorrow and we busted through the drift that's our main goal and then the the county trucks are coming too it would just take me too long it's getting closer to uh to four or five in the morning so they're gonna be out here running once i radio in that i got it cleared of the drift and they'll kind of clean up and get their place cleaned up real nice all right then the next i'm going straight for a mile and a half and then i'm i'm back to this shop this will take me probably another hour especially if we get hung up on any big drift so we're gonna cruise clearing it pretty good nice and slow four mile an hour not too bad all right we're busted up we got a big drift let's back her up get some speed here we go drop the plow boom boom go 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 all right we got it i think we got it this road is a little finicky there's a lot of potholes there's a few it's just it's just tougher especially when the road's gravel in my opinion it's pretty tough all right guys we're just getting back and i put the dozer inside she's uh she's almost out of fuel which it made it through the whole entire uh the whole entire route i guess you would call it on on a full or on a like one tank i didn't have to refuel it so sun's coming up county guys are getting out and they are they're cleaning up my mess i guess i didn't clean it all the way like that wasn't my job my job was to clear the drift so thank you guys all so much for watching the dozer the dozer did great i love the plow it's pretty cool so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one